hey guys welcome back to sex with is my name is Solani m and i am the sex conversationalist if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you and thank you so much for coming back and tuning in if you're new please look around your screen i am pretty sure there's a red subscribe button somewhere there tap on it join us and let's chat about sex babies so in today's video we are going to be chatting about a topic that i think is pretty simple like i think it's not that complicated and i find myself shocked consistently all the time when i find that people don't get this you know um so yeah we're gonna be chatting about it. <laughs> being wet versus being horny so yeah let's get into it so first of all i've noticed that um we often use um the term horny inter interchangeably with um being wet and these things don't necessarily mean the same thing being horny for one definitely means that you are excited sexually you want to have sex you know it's a slang term used to express that you know whereas being wet is just a state your body is in you know like there's no okay there could be mind to it like there could be thought into like you could be thinking sexual things and then get wet in that case i think you're horny but you could just be going around about your business and obviously your vagina just drizzles <laughs> that does not mean you want to have sex it's just a state in which your body is in and I find it very disappointing that people think it's the same thing um, because whew, this is actually hectic because sometimes um, when men force themselves on you in their heads they think just because your body is in that state which it could be in like it could your vagina could be wet they think that that's you saying yes or that's you wanting it even though your your mouth is saying no your body is like you are saying no your mind is saying no they see what your body is producing and they assume that you are saying yes so i think that's like the main and the biggest reason i thought it's very important for me to do this video so that people can understand that especially for us women i think it's so common we all know that men men their dicks just pop up just for no reason and we are so understanding to that and we get that it does not mean anything but we find ourselves as women in a lot of situations where well women find themselves being assaulted sexually and people's responses were, uh men's responses are that they wanted it and how do you know this because my vagina was wet sorry sir that means absolutely nothing it does not mean that i want to have sex with you so i think it's important for us to just have this chat so yeah like i've explained um being horny is actually wanting to have sex um you can be well you can be wet and horny but you can be wet and not horny you know um yeah so let's get into depth you know oh just to point this out just because i am horny and i want to have sex that does not equal consent because me being horny has nothing to do with you me wanting to have sex has nothing to do with you it's just a me thing i'm horny i want to have sex 
um not sure there's no like just because i'm horny doesn't mean i want to have sex with you and i think people need to get that need to get that people need to get that i don't know how many times i've said that i'm horny or i want to have sex and people just automatically assume they're the perfect candidate for it my men please eh please relax relax so here's the thing nah? about being wet that thing happens j for no reason well there's a reason um i think your vagina needs to be moist it's a form of protection for it because if it's just dry your walls they tear and stuff like that you know so definitely needs to be moist in there so for you to just come and think you are the one who's made, who's made me wet hey guys honestly relax calm the fuck down like a lot of things influence um the moist of your vagina you know like i feel like guilty as charged as well i think i've always seen my genital is that what it's called or my private part <laughs> let me say i've always looked at my vagina and only associated it with sexual things and man am i disappointed in myself how the hell do i what do you call it i fall short on understanding and I fell short on understanding and acknowledging that my body is a whole, you know, like it's a whole. Your body is one thing, like it works together. So from shit like hormones, um, stress, um, infections, you know, mental health, all those things, they literally contribute towards your vaginal health literally a lot of things influence the moistness of your vagina at a specific time and the fact that people will reduce that guilty as charged i used to reduce the moisture the moistness or the state in which your vagina is in reduce it to sexual intercourse ma'am guys this is a machine <laughs> a vagina is a damn machine you cannot bring it down to sex no no ways you can't it's beyond that man this thing it's <laughs> a no yeah like i'm just not i'm not for us doing that you know I wanted to say that you can definitely be um, aroused or horny, but wet. Um, we're, we differ, like as people, we just differ. And obviously, the level of moistness in our vaginas will never ever be the same. No two people are the same. Um, and things that make us specific to who we are, like our stresses our daily lives our exposures those things make us different in terms of just the people we are you know and obviously it's also going to make us different in terms of what our vaginas are like you know so um it's definitely a thing to have a dry vagina um it can be dry and you are horny and you want to have sex and that's why we have things like um lubricant it's to um mitigate that situation in a case where you want to have sex you know um because i mean we all know dryness is <laughs> i don't i've never read anything that i've never read anything about the benefits of a dry vagina you know i don't think it's good i don't i don't know if anyone knows and wants to comment down below and let me know what they think or what they've learned or what they know um i i, I don't think the dryness of a vagina is good because obviously you need the moist to keep the walls 
um, easy going apparently they tear when when it's dry and I mean I've had I've had a situation where I was having sex and I was getting dry because obviously I was off the condom and it was horrible it's horrible to have that friction um, in a dry vagina like it's painful you know you don't you almost don't want to do it anymore because like there's no pleasure in it so man i'm yet to come across the goods about this um it would be nice if someone responded on this video and told me about it um and i'm just thinking that i should probably just sneak this in the chat about vaginal odor you know i've heard people talk about this from when i was still in high school i used to have this friend she used to think she was pregnant because of a change in odor in her vagina and <laughs> she always she said this she would tell me she thinks she's pregnant because this because that and then one of her reasons was because her vaginal odor has changed um i think definitely when you're pregnant it could change personally my vaginal odor changes every time i have sex with a different person um it changes it literally changes some or if i don't have sex in a like now now i haven't had sex in a while <sighs> but we move um it's changed like it's got a more natural scent like it's more me i don't feel i don't smell someone else you know so i just think i should i just thought i should like mention vaginal odor that it changes and i hear a lot of like i've spoken to someone who talked to me about how um they were turned off by a girl's vaginal odor and they associated that odor with um, uh, hygiene, bad hygiene. It happens. It definitely happens. But I think also we need to just open our mind to the fact that sometimes it's not that. I can tell you now, I think my vaginal odor has changed ever since I've paid mind to it. <sighs> Maybe it's changed like seven times. And it's not a hygiene thing because you know and it's I don't think it's been on I don't think I've ever had an odor that was awful like I was just like ugh, I hate it I, like I just I don't know expressed this once on my channel I just love these odors that keep like the mixtures that <laughs> or rather the scent that gets mixed in my vagina child me I love it like it's so refreshing to know that my body can produce the scent so I've had like seven so I just wanted to say like to men specifically like be mindful to the, be mindful of the fact that sometimes it's not a hygiene thing and it's okay that you don't like the scent but don't use the fact that you don't like it to shame her it, it might not be a, a, a hygiene thing, you know? Yeah, anyway, that's that on there. So, in conclusion, I would just like to say these few things. First of all, being wet does not mean you are horny. Being dry does not mean you are not horny. Being wet and horny does not equate consent. Yes? A vaginal odor, whatever odor it may be, does not equate bad hygiene. It could be a lot of other things. And you guys need to be mindful of that. That's basically it. Like, guys, don't use my vagina to define me. It is a part of me. It is not who I am yeah so it that's it from me the sex conversationalist um if you have not guys from the bottom of my heart please like this video subscribe to my channel grow my subscription we're on the road to 5k um 
Yo and Andy, yo guys, I'm so inconsistent and this is me explaining. I told you guys that I'm abstaining. And first, like guys, it's hard to abstain from sex. I think I've met one person who I wanted to just be like, hey, fuck it. Fuck all of this. Fuck. <laughs> fuck my... <laughs> Lord, I was just ready to be like, I'm not abstaining for shit anymore. Yeah, but I didn't end up doing that. Um, and it was hard. It was really, yeah, yes, yes. It still is, you know. So imagine how much harder it is for me to come sit here and talk about something that sometimes I desire so much. But I have to be strong mentally and stay away from it you know it's hard so that's why i've been struggling to shoot videos and post videos um apart from life's problems yeah um i would also like a humongous favor that you guys um comment down below tell me like what you want me to chat about what do you want me to research on and talk about on the channel yeah and follow me on instagram guys like i feel like that's where i need the most engagement in order to create content so please follow me on instagram at silwani m underscore yeah that's my handle on twitter as well if you want to Thank you. Bye.